let's look at some of the new functions that will help us share our technical data with our downstream team members. In this case, we're going to look at how we can share some of this technical documentation. Now, one of the most common questions I get is people say, Roland, how, do I, how can I send somebody this model and what can they do with it? I need them to view it and do measurements and look at custom properties. Let's look at probably my favorite set of enhancements for e-drawings that I've seen in a long, long time. The first thing that we're going to see is new for e-drawings 2021 is the fact that you can now see all the custom and configuration properties directly from the e-drawings viewer. This gives those non-technical people access to some of the technical data like revision, who the manufacturer is, maybe the mass. If you're using design tables, we can now see the configuration specific properties such as description, drawing number, vendor part number, title of the, pot, the model or assembly. Along with that, we've see, we have a much more robust measuring uh, capability inside eDrawings. In this case, if I rotate this around, I want to see what the center to center measurement is of these two bolts. In some cases, we need to see the maximum or minimum distance. So you're going to see a more complete measuring functionality inside eDrawings. In this case, I can toggle between minimum, maximum, or center to center distance. Along with that, I can pull more measurements from non-planar uh, and, and cylindrical edges. In this case, I wanted to see what the normal distance is from the top face of the part to the center of this shaft, which is a normal distance of 1.807 inches. Now, one of the most common questions that people get is they say, Roland, do I absolutely have to install eDrawings to view a file? Well, I'm glad to introduce this brand new function within eDrawings Professional called Web HTML. From eDrawings, you can come in here and do a file save as, and you can save this eDrawing file as a web HTML document. What this does is you no longer need eDrawings to view that. You can now take that HTML web file and open it up with any common web browser. In my example, I'm using Google Chrome to look at that same file, but instead of having to actually install eDrawings, I'm now viewing it directly from a web browser. The great thing about this is we get all the same information that we see inside SOLIDWORKS or inside our eDrawings interface. For example, we can see the bill of material and the component tree. In some cases, maybe like the sales team wants to explode this out. So I can come in here and do a quick explode without actually having to have SOLIDWORKS or eDrawings installed. If you wanted to dig down into this assembly, we can create a section view. Probably the most common thing to do is to pull a measurement. But by far, one of the things that I'm using the most is using just the simple move co component command. What this gives users the ability to do is just simply grab a file or grab a part from the screen and start decomposing this, taking a deeper dive look at how this thing is actually put together. Where I'm seeing a huge benefit is for those non-technical people that want to look and maybe find a specific part number inside the interface. I can now move things around, simply select from a web browser on the component that I'm after, and now I can see the actual part number of that component. So eDrawings is providing even more functionality to share this technical content with some of those people downstream who may or may not be SOLIDWORKS users or maybe not technical enough to use the SOLIDWORKS environment. 